all right we're gonna make this real quick how to mod crowds so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to make sure you got your colors right so i mean you can put them down in notepad but you gave me that color list all i did was it's only two colors that i'm going to be using so i'm gonna just i made one color here pasted in the hex that you gave me boom and then the other color is white so i just made that one white because usually two colors most of these schools gonna be a color and white anyway so so once i did that i got my color set the next thing you want to do is get all your logos together i pretty much use uh i'm gonna try to use at least two of these logos um two or three of these logos i would say get four logos if you can I normally when I'm doing shirts to only use two logos. I have two logos for the shirts and then I have a logo for the jersey the, the jersey um name. So it's really only three logos that you need. You only need three logos. So I'm going to use three of these four and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I got my logos. Um da, 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 da. that's pretty much it. I'm going to give you this crowd template so you're going to use that. And I'm gonna give you this crowd file that you can use for your testing and then making your crowds. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up the template. It should be blank like this. I made it blank. Save it again, but I made it blank. So what you wanna do, first thing you wanna do, if you look on the right-hand side, you'll see everything is in categories. Um, and I'm actually, let me, let me save it again so it look clean when you first open it up. So everything's gonna be category. You have your signs, tile, free throws, dad hat, beanie, the women's shirt, the women's tank top, the women's jeans, the women's hoodie, the man hoodie, the man jeans, playoff shirt, jerseys, undershirt. Um, then you have the crowd overall, which is this. The extra stuff that people wear in the crowd, like flannel, flannel, flannel shirts and sweaters and stuff like that. You on, you don't have to change colors for all of this stuff. It's only, a, it's, only it's not all of this stuff, I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, the first thing that I would do when you come in here is you're going to change the overall color of all the other stuff in the crowd. So the flannel shirts, the hoodies, the t-shirts and things like that. To change that color, that's this option right here. So, and what you want to do is when you're doing your crowds, you want to take your dominant color, which is, I call it the away color because it's the color that they will wear on their uniforms when they're away at, from home because everybody at home usually wears white. So I would take the away color. And this is going to be most of the stuff that's going to be in this crowd color is going to be using your away color because I found out if you use more of the away color, your crowd look better. I tried using a home color and everything was all white for everybody and it just didn't work, especially when they were on the road because on the road it shows the team's away stuff. So it worked better if you have more of the away color in your crowd than your home color. So then your arenas just pop more too. So the first thing you want to do is take your away color and swap this color out. So this is uh, from this template that I was using. I'm going to change this away color and use my dominant color here. Bam. Change that. Hit OK. Now you can see, see all this stuff that was black before. Um, it's still going to be kind of a dark color, but it's going to have that blue over it. So um, this is the stuff that you, that's kind of like generic in the crowd like. Like this flannel shirt, this little gray button up. So what I did was I put a color on top of it to make it blend in a little bit more of my crowd. So that's one trick that I think I'm the only one that's doing on crowds. So that's the first thing you want to do is do that. The next thing you want to do is start going down your list and changing your colors and adding your logos. It's as simple as that. So we're going to open up the first one, which is signs. And we're gonna open up both signs. Ugh. And you can keep the signs white or you can change the color. It's up to you. I'm leaving my signs white. What I usually do for the signs is throw a logo on top. So let's go to the desktop. Let's go to this logo folder. Let's grab us a logo to throw on top real quick. So let's grab this one right here. You can grab whatever you want, it's up to you. I'm gonna grab this one right here. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna throw it in here. This file is huge, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink it down some. Uh, now I'm gonna take this file, I'm gonna move it, drag it over here, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna drag it on top of here. 
Now what you want to do is make sure that it doesn't drop your logo down all the way at the bottom. Move it all the way back up to the signs. And I usually just put it right up under the, uh, the thing there. So now the sign is on top. We can zoom in. That's why I told you the crowd is the longest part. And we're going to just, we're going to do like this. Shrink it down a little bit. Make sure it's nice and fit. Bam. Then I'm lazy. So what I do is I duplicate that bad boy. And then I do like that. Bam. So the signs are done. Next, you're going to do the tile. The tile, the only thing you have to do for the tile is change the color. We're going to open this up. Bam. Done. Tile is done. Free throw balloons. I made my own letters, miss, and let's go. I made that myself. You can change that and make your own text if you want. Otherwise, just double click the color, bam, done. Change your color of your text. In this case, we want to do white, bam. 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 And bam, bit. All right, so now our free throw balloon is done. Dad hat, we're gonna do the same thing. If you scroll up, here's the dad hat right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the arrows. We're gonna first change the color to dad hat. Bam. Bam, and I was pointing to the beanie. Bam, dad hat is right here. Um, but once we change the colors of the dad hat, we're gonna add some logos to that bad boy. So take your logo and let's use this logo. And we're gonna actually double click and change the color of this to white. And then I'm gonna rasterize the layer style because that'll keep that color. So I'm gonna take that and drag it over here. Then I'm going to resize that. And you want to put the dad logo right in the middle of these two little lines here on the hat. You want it to be about that big, about right there. Then I use, like I said, I usually just put it under there. I'm gonna duplicate that, bam. I'm gonna we'll move that up, and I'm gonna put it right under this dad hat. So these are the two spots for the dad hat. So whatever logo you wanna put, make sure you put it in between these two little circles right there, and that's the spot for the hat. Dad hats are done. Let's go to beanie. This is the beanie right here. First, we're gonna change the color to the beanie. <laughs> done. Then we need to put a logo down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this logo here. I'm going to take off that. I'm going to do a layer cut. And then I'm going to do a color overlay and make that white. Because it's going on top of a blue hat. And then I'm going to rasterize layer style. Then I'm going to drag this. Boom, 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 boom. And here, bam. And too big, obviously. A lot of the stuff is going to be too big, so your logo should be crispy. So I'll just minimize it down. And with this little beanie hat, you want it to be about right there. Then still maybe about right there. How about that? Beanie's done. Woman's shirt. So now this is where you can get real. You can do this part really quick. With the women's shirt, the women's shirts are... So I think this is the women's shirt. One, two, three, four. Then the women tank top is one, two, three, and four. So that's where you want to put your logo. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, let's put our women's shirt. Let's put our logo. So. What we can do is, what I usually do is I do two logos and keep it simple and keep it moving. Because again, this is a lot of stuff that you got to do. So what you can do is grab you two logos. We already put them in here, so they're right here. So this is going to be my first logo. Uh, I got to just put it somewhere for right now because I got to get up here. All right, so my first shirt. Right, so this is, my, this is the woman's shirt right here. And of course, make sure your logos, you're not putting blue on blue. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But that's where you want the first logo to be. I'm going to duplicate this. Then I usually put that 
two logos up. So here's the first shirt. Here's the second shirt. I don't keep the logos next to each other. I skip one. So here's the third shirt. I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm getting my other logo, which I'm going to use. I don't have to grab it. It's already right here. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to start here. So I'm going to free transform this. Okay, that's one. I'm going to duplicate this bad boy. Boom. I'm going to move this one up to the fourth shirt, which is right there. Then I'm going to change that because, again, it's white on white. So we're going to do a color overlay, and we're going to say, bam. Our colors are already over here, so we could just click them and keep it moving. Bam. Now your shirts are done. Now what you can do because you finessed it is take all these four logos. So click one, then hold the shift and click the last one. Right click, duplicate, bam. Then take the move tool and just drag these and go right up here. So now your tank tops are done because that's where the tank tops sit. Bam. So now the logos are done for the women's shirts and the women's tank tops. So that's done. The only thing you have to do now is um, go in and change the shorts for the colors. So change the colors for the shirts. Sorry. So you're going to go from one, two, three, and four. So drop one. Um, Colors white and white that works. Two white and white that works. Three blue and blue. We got to change these. These are the dark blue that's from my other team. Bam, move that to be blue. Uh, double click, move that to be blue. All right. Four double click these. Boom and boom. And now you're going to do the same thing with the tank tops. We already put the logos there when we did that copy. We just got to go in and swap our colors out. Boom. And boom. Keep going. So your top color should be your primary. Usually that's the way I do it. But you can mix them up here. That's, this don't matter. It just has to be blue and white. Oh, actually, you need this one to be blue because of the white logos there, obviously. So I'll make this sleeve white. There we go. Then do four. So this should be white. This should be blue. All right. So the, that part's done. So we can close the women's shirts and the women's tank top. Women is done. Now we're going to go to women's jeans. You don't have to do. You don't change jean colors. Women's hoodie, same thing. Scroll down. Here's the women's hoodie right here. One, two, three four so what we're gonna do is the first thing is we're gonna do is we're gonna finesse it we're gonna go back up to women's shirts we're gonna grab four logos one two three four and uh, we're gonna do a duplicate again <laughs> then we're gonna take our duplication and go all the way down and put it right under right on the women's hoodie now we're going to take those same files and put them right there. Now our hoodies are done. This is where the hoodie logo should be, right in the middle of the chest. Now all we need to do is go in, change our colors. White is good. White is good. The blue got to be changed because it's a different looking blue. Bam. Drop this one. All right, man hoodie is the same thing. It's all the same thing. So go back up to your women hoodie. Hold, click that first one, hold shift, click the last one, duplicate. Bam. That's why I made these like this because it's so easy to just get these mugs done this way. When you go over here, the man's hoodie is right here. So when you highlight all of those and you duplicate them and move them down, keep them highlighted and then just move them like this. And then all you need to do is line up. The first one should be right under the uh, the strings. So bam, boom, 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 boom. And you shouldn't have to worry about fixing nothing. This last one like it could be moved, moved up a little bit, but there other that we good. All right, now that's done. Go in and change the colors. The string color you can actually change on a man's hoodie. So I'm gonna change that to the to the right blue. 
go down and check this one. This should be blue. Of course, anything that's the dominant color needs to be swapped. If it's white, don't touch it. Blue, make sure it's blue, bam. All right, so now that's done. So now we got done with women's hoodie and man hoodie. Man jeans, you don't touch, playoff shirt. The playoff shirt is going to be right here. So in the playoffs, they'll wear these two shirts right here. What I usually do for the playoff shirt is I'll just take two of the, cut, two of the logos here these first two from the man hoodie, duplicate it, drag these duplicated ones down to the playoff shirt, and then I'll move them. Click one to move it, it's up here. And you just gotta turn it sideways because this one is actually, it needs to go that way. And then we can make this a little bit bigger. There you go. This is this how the shirt looks. This is the front of the shirt. Come grab this one. Use our move tool. Same logo, but if you wanted to change it, you could delete that logo and grab another logo. So just find the one that got like this one right here. That's the perfect one. So duplicate. And then I'm gonna drag it down here just to keep them in order. Now you don't have to move these at all if you don't want to. I just do it to keep them in order. Then we're going to free transform counterclockwise. Bam. So that one's done. You can move it up a little bit because this is where the collar at right here. That's the collar. And that's the collar. So there you go. Playoff shirts done. So now you got everything done except for jerseys and undershirts. So <clears throat> I would do the undershirts because those are pretty quick. The first three are the are white. The last one is always the away color. So I'm gonna change that real quick because that's easy, easy one to do. All right, now you need to do the jerseys. So jerseys, we're gonna back out a little bit. And you see, we got all our logos looking clean already. All right, so jerseys with jerseys, you only need a, um, you only need the. Ch I got numbers here. You can change those numbers if you want, but those are just some generic numbers I just put down. You need to change the colors of the the colors of the numbers and the jerseys, and you need to put the logo and the manufacturer. That's all you have to do. Um, I set this template up to where it'll have Adidas and Nike and Under Armour already done. Just click it and it fills it in. As you can see, all you have to do to change the colors of those is double click and change it and like do like a color like a color overlay like that if you want to change it, but you shouldn't have to. The away ones usually are always white pretty much, unless you come with a special jersey, then you need to change it. So I'm assuming they are Nike, so we're gonna do Nike away, bam. So our Nike away is not orange, so it needs to be white. So we're gonna change that to white. All I did was double click, color overlay, changed it. Now all the Nike away symbols are white. Filled in, quick, easy. Now do the Nike Home, click it. It'll do these bottom ones at home. You know, that has to be the dominant color. So I'm gonna change that to blue right there, bam, bam. So now we got the Nike symbols done just like that. Now we need to do the colors of each number. So <clears throat> go to each number, change the away ones to white or whatever away color. Boom, chicka, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm just double clicking away the color overlay. Boom, chicka, boom. Oh crap, wrong one. All right, so for the men is one, two, and three. And for the women, it's one, two, and three. But the numbers are there so you can see the numbers. So I'm just doing 31, 20, eight, done now you need to do the away colors so go back up do man number four which is 47 we're going to change that to this color our dominant color our away color go back to women number four double click we're going to change to our away color bam bam all right so now you need to do the jerseys for each one so under man 129, that's just jersey right here. We're gonna click the jersey folder, bam, change the color, bam. Jersey two, change the color, bam. 
Jersey three, change the color. Bam, good. We're approaching 20 minutes, which I'm done too. Uh, jersey four, leave it because it's going to be white or unless your home cut home jersey is not white. Woman one jersey, we're going to change it to blue. Woman two jersey, we're going to change it to blue. Woman three jersey, we're going to change it to blue. Done. That's all done. Everything is looking crispy. The only thing we got to do now is add the, the logo, the team name on each jersey. Um, what you can do is go all the way back up to your uh, jersey tab and you can add it right there. So let's grab us a logo. Uh, we need two types of logos. We need a white one and a blue one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this already up here, already done. So we're going to take this white one and we're going to go boom. And we need to put it onto the blue jerseys. So we're going to just go like that. And again, this is just me freestyling. You can find the appropriate logo that they use. That's all on you. That's on you. If you want to use this, you can. Again, just make sure it's squeezed in there. All right, then I'm going to duplicate this layer. Move it down. Keep it simple. I'm going to duplicate it again. Keep it simple. Then I'm going to take all three of these. I'm going to duplicate them. And then I'm going to just move them over to the right. Bam. Now we need two more. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to grab one of these. I'll grab this one, duplicate it. I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to make this one color overlay. I'm going to make it the blue that I need it to be. Bam. All right. Then I'm going to take that same one. I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to just use my move tool and move it over. Move, 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 move. There you go. Bam. All right. Some of these jerseys have a collar. Like you see this collar right here? You can change that. Just find a jersey and change the collar. So this is jersey 17. Here's 17, go down to the, you can actually take it off if you want to. Here's the, the thing for the jersey collar. If you want to take it off, just unhide it. And it looks like that. If you want to keep it, you can change it to the same color. It's just going to blend it in. See, do nothing but blend it in. You can check the, this one over here is already done. So you're good. All right. So then you can back out, take a look at it. See what it's looking like. Looks crispy. Don't look weird. All right, now we're going to do a save. Now you have to save this as Intel. And you have to save this, um, save it as Intel, then we're going to drop it into the folder. So desktop, I'm going to do Intel DDS. I'm going to name it as that. It doesn't matter. Bam. Might take a minute. All right, so there's our crowd. It looks all weird. That's how it's supposed to look. You're going to open up this crowd archive. Copy the name of this one. Just click it once. Control C. Right click. Rename. Um, Control D. I mean Control V. Then delete that extra stuff on the end. So then we're going to drag this in here. Bam. Boom. Done. So now this crowd is done. So we're going to do is I'm going to load up this crowd to test it out. So I'm gonna just load up this crowd 000, zero, zero, zero. throw it in here, I'm gonna load it up. We're gonna make sure it work real quick. And tutorial done, it's 24 minutes. In 24, 24 minutes. Oh man. It should work. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go play now. Quick play, because we need to see the crowd. We're gonna load up Philly. They should have that crowd. Come on, man, I'm actually gonna say no that. And 
there you go. There's our crowd. There's everything that we put on there. All done. Now get to work. 